In this video, we're going to talk about adding text watermarks. So let's start with what a watermark is. We use a watermark to identify our brand or to make some sort of indication on the video that we're not quite done yet, like a draft. So in this, what we'll do is we'll create a text watermark that will indicate our website and that will indicate that the video we're working on is just in a draft state. To begin, we want to have a background video. So I'll go to the library and I'll grab this Boca Dots. And the reason I'm going to grab this particular video is because it has dark spots and light spots. And that's really what we want to be able to cover is put our domain name down here, but make sure that it's visible whether it's dark or light. So now we have this nice backdrop where if I scrub through here, you can see some light and dark spots that will help us really identify whether or not we can see that text watermark. Then I want to add an annotation. So I'll grab this annotation and I'll drag it down here and we'll put in a domain name. So I'll double click and I'll say cammastery.com. And I'll size it to the size I want. That actually looks pretty good. Yep, I like that. I'll just make this a little smaller like this and I'll say maybe I want it here or maybe I do want it a bit smaller. You know, maybe I want it 60 or something like that. Okay. So now that we have the domain name here, uh, we want to test it. And I'll stretch this out throughout the entirety of the video. So anytime you're putting a text watermark on your video, make sure that it goes throughout the entire video. So right now we only have two tracks and it's on the top track, but you might need to bump it way up uh, several tracks higher. For now though, if I scrub through this, I can see that whenever those bright whites come, it's a little bit harder for me to see what that is. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a drop shadow. So we'll go to our visual effects and I'll grab drop shadow and I'll just drag it to the text. And I can drag it here or I can drag it here. So with the drop shadow, I now have this drop shadow area in my properties panel. And with the drop shadow, it blurs it quite a bit. It has a lot of opacity and the offset is set at 10. What I've found is to bring that offset down to about five works better. Um, take the blur and drop that way down as well. And we'll try that, you know, somewhere here around three. And then we'll check on the opacity. We might want to make it a little bit darker. Um, maybe 40% is okay. If I just hit the undo, we'll take it to 40. So let's see how this looks like this. And then another way for me to test is to bring it over top of the white. So can I see it when it's over top of the white? Yes, I can. And then even when it's dark, I don't have any problem seeing it. So down here where it's dark, or up where it was light, it looks great. So this is a great way to add something like a domain to the lower left corner of your video. Now, another thing we might want to do is we, we might want to indicate that this video is a draft video. So you might be working with a client and you say, uh, I don't want to share with them the final video until um, I get paid or something like that. And you want to indicate that we're still working on this. So I'll do something similar. I'll grab the text, I'll drag it in here, but this time I want it to be uh, much larger. So I'm going to go to the properties and I'm going to increase this font size rather large and we're going to say draft in all caps. And we'll make it even larger than this. In fact, what we can do is you can see that I kind of maxed out here at 256 on my font. If I double click, I can go in here and I can type a number like 500. And you can see that the slider doesn't even go that far, but I can add that. All right, so we can add something like draft. Um, I like to add it at an angle as well. So find an angle that you like. Um, you might even want to make it bold or find you know, some kind of uh, font that you like. That's, that's a little too much. I'm going to go ahead and undo that. Now, again, you'll want to have this over the entirety of your video, over the entire length of the video. You'll want to have it at the top. And you'll want to add some transparency to it. So what we'll do here is we'll jump over to this first tab in the properties and we'll take the opacity and we'll drop it down to something, you know, usually around like a quarter, like 25% I found works really well. So if you have white text and you have this opacity set at 25%, this looks great. Now the only time this wouldn't work great is, and I'll bump this over, if we have a different background. So if I go to my project settings and I make this an all white background and I apply that, then you can't even see the word draft. So again, what we'll do is we'll select draft, we'll grab visual effects, and we'll add a drop shadow to it. 
and now we can see it whether it's on a light background or a dark background. I've created a couple projects so you can download this watermark and use this in your videos. If you go to ronuses.com slash watermark text, you'll be able to download these projects for yourself.